many of us who are energetically sensitive, um, most of our life growing up, we weren't aware of it. We weren't understanding what we were feeling and sensing. And unfortunately, many have been placed under psychiatric or doctor's care medication because it's really difficult to cope and deal with the world um, un not understanding our psychic senses or sensitivities. So with that said, um, many of us have been labeled crazy in one way, shape, or form, or just with some mental illness or mental health problem of some sort. You know, these diagnoses, ADHD, uh, bipolar, um, autistic, um, all kinds of things. And so when we go through the spiritual awakening and we realize, wow, these were actually, these are gifts. They're not curses. Then we go through a part of the journey where we are wanting to shout from the top of the mountain like, hey, I understand now and I sense and I feel and I see and I get it and Usually you're not heard <laughs> by your family or your friends because they're already looking at you like, mm -hmm, you've got, you need new med medication or something like that. So I find a lot of people, I've been on this path to myself um, in, in the beginning and it still takes time for some people to get me, but I am way more accepted because I accept myself and I have this channel and I reach out to so many people and it's starting to spread through um, my own family dynamic and whatnot. But still, um, I'm putting this out there because of number one, the video and the messages I've been putting out to help Dustin. And I know many have been wondering, you know, do you really know this person? And why doesn't he have family or friends? Um, why isn't he able to help himself? And this is one of the reasons why we kind of get put into a snag when we are spiritually awakened and realize that we had the power all along. We had the answers all along. We have these sensitivities, but they're gifts. Um, we're also very vulnerable and naive, unfortunately. And with Dustin's case, um, his naivety had um, with people, and I've had this happen too, and I'm sure many of you have been taken advantage of, and um, our kindness, our heart, our generosity, been taken advantage of and just had everything taken from him, stolen from him. And um, also, you know, uh, going back, flip, flip back to usually us, those of us who are highly sensitive, empaths, uh, energetically sensitive, through our teenage years, we do not fit in. We don't feel... Um, and, you know, I was that way, but I kind of pretended and, and did fit in or I found I had people migrate into my life that sort of got me. Um, I was blessed that way. But um, I know most are not. They are not feeling like they fit in anywhere and become very uh, isolated within themselves and even suicidal. And there you go again with the mental illness, mental disease, mental uh, issues. So, um I feel like in Dustin's case is not an isolated case whatsoever in this community of uh, empaths and those of us on the path to ascension and awakening and elevating our consciousness consciously. Um, it's been a tough road and it is not, it is not a path for the faint of heart. And this is why a lot of people's egos just shut down. They're like, no, I'm not going that way. I'm going to look, be looked like crazy. I'm going to lose everything. And there's no way I'm going to live that life. I'm going to try to fit in with the status quo. 
Now those people are having a difficult time as well and they are lashing back out at us, um, calling us names, crazy, or I've, one friend had been called a mystical mama or some, you know, just hang in there. This is the energy, the light and the dark. I did a video on the light and the dark um, and it is within all of us, but um, this incident with Dustin being, he's not homeless, and he has been able to take care of himself up until just the recent month where he really ran out of money and is not able to provide food for himself or his dogs. And he can get back on his feet. He is becoming stronger, but without food for days, his energy and his physical body is depleting. And so I put out an SOS for help for Dustin, but I wanted to kind of go a little deeper into this because he is not an isolated incident whatsoever. I have come across, I've experienced personally um, similar, not as extreme, but been taken advantage of and had um, things taken from me and been called crazy and all kinds of things. And it's painful and it hurts and you go into an isolation know that you're not alone. You are not alone. Any of you who are going through this or have gone through this, we can get through this. And we can, there is another side. This too shall pass. But I feel like we really need to stick together and really help each other evolve and grow and heal and um, elevate the collective consciousness because this is where we're going as a planet and if humanity cannot take a look within and take a look without and see what we are doing or not doing to and for each other um, this can be the detriment of the planet and it's important that we start to look outside of the box and live outside of the box um, I, I know in my heart of hearts that this will happen but I just wanted to go a little deeper into my video about Dustin and my reach out about helping Dustin. And if anybody is able to uh, do that, I will put his information again in the description box below. Um, but I'm also putting this out there for all empaths, all of you who are energetically sensitive. You are not alone. You are not crazy. Um, and these medications from the pharmaceutical companies, they are numbing out your senses. I'm not telling anybody to just go to cold turkey and go off of a medication, although that is what I did when I realized these things many years ago and my psychic senses just peaked. Um, and I'm using them to, um, the best of my ability to rise above whatever boxes I may have been put into, although I'm not one for boxes to begin with. And that's one of my um, saving graces. And the people in my, in my life and my family have always known that about me. So I haven't had such a rough ride as many that I do know. I have other friends and uh, other people in my life that I witness them just, it's really tough when your family, um, you know, um, just sort of pushes you away and um yeah it, it's hard but you're not alone because there's another family here your soul tribe and that is definitely part of be the change so hang in there this too shall pass and sending out so much love to all of you take care bye